All right, let's talk about a few running backs that we feel are a little overhyped and we don't quite believe in. So before we get into that, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos just like this one to help you win your fantasy football league. All right, Kyle, who's your first running back? Yeah, the first guy, a lot of hype around this guy, Zamir White. He survived the draft. Yeah. They didn't draft any running backs there. However, they did sign Alexander Madison also this offseason. I think he sees pretty good amount of carries in this offense. I don't think Zamir White's going to be this magical three-down unicorn that everybody thinks he's going to be in this offense. He did admirable, though, in place of Jacobs last year when he missed games and stuff, but I don't think he can maintain that production over the course of a full year. Um, if I've got him in Dynasty, I'm trying to sell based on this hype and what people are – projecting him to be because I don't think he'll live up to it. I agree. I don't know that he comes across as that workhorse back. Like he's not a Josh Jacobs, right? right? And then, like you said, they signed Alexander Madison. We've seen what Madison can do in a complimentary role. He plays that role a little bit better. Uh, I mean, he was good enough for people to think he could be a lead back. Uh, he didn't really fill that role. I feel like Zamir White is almost like in that same role as Madison was, right? Everyone's like, oh, he's so good. He'll still be able to step up. And yeah. he's just not as good as Josh Jacobs, just like Madison wasn't as good as Cook, right? So mm -hmm. uh, I feel like they're kind of one in the same. And, um, you know, don't forget about Amir Abdullah, who was also getting some work last year too. So, yep. yeah, I don't I don't think Zemir Weiss can be this workhorse back that everyone's hoping for, even though he did survive the draft. I agree. All right, who's your next guy? Number two, Gus the Bus Edwards. Oh, yeah, I know it's tough because everybody's projecting this, you know, Harbaugh offense run first and all of this, but I just don't think this offense is going to be very efficient this this year. Gus Edwards, I I don't believe he has bell cow talent. Another owner came out and said so, but. He's trying to back up his guy, right? Yep. Um, the biggest issue for me, and I know it is for you too, is his health. Absolutely. I don't think he can survive an entire season without some sort of injury, um, especially if he's getting bell cow work. He couldn't do it as a complimentary back in Baltimore. But they've also got J.K. Um, Spiller's back. You know, They've got some other guys that are going to eat into that workload. And this is a guy, again, I don't think he's going to get the, the full workload like people are thinking. And even if he does, he won't last health-wise. Yeah, I don't know if it's the water in Baltimore. I don't know because all their running backs go down to injury. But we'll, we'll Henry, see. Derek Henry will test that this year. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see. Oh, gosh, what a test, right? Uh, cool. But we'll see if that's the case uh, when – when Gus Bus is out there uh, in LA too, can he stay healthy? Uh, I lean toward no. I don't think he stays healthy. Like you said, if he gets that workload, especially, yeah. makes me nervous, makes me really nervous. And I don't know that he's really dynamic enough for me to be excited for him as a lead back. I don't think, yeah, I agree. I don't think he's that explosive. I don't necessarily think he's, he's that. getting old. He's 29 years old. He's old. Yeah. Too. He doesn't have he's that much juice to be, even if even with a full workload, like he's going to need volume to produce any kind of points for your fantasy team. And you can't always count on that if they're falling behind and what have you. So, yeah, I agree. Sell for me. I, again, Dynasty, I'm selling based on that hype. He'll never live up to it. Yeah. Speaking of hype based on uh, volume, probably. Your next guy here, I think people should temper expectations. Yeah, dude, Zach Moss, you know, he did he did really well when Jonathan Taylor was out in Indy. Um, he's not going to get that kind of workload in Cincinnati. And if you thought he was, I hate to break your heart, but Chase Brown looks really, really good. He's a better receiver. And if he was cutting into Joe Mixon's work, he's going to cut into Zach Moss's workload. Yep. No, I agree. I 
he was in a pretty good situation there in Indy. They have a good run offense. And so, um, you know, a lot of players could step in there and look really good. Zach Moss has been bounced around from team to team kind of for a reason. It's not like he's some fantastic running back that everyone's just hyped to hang on to, right? So uh, they didn't draft anyone either. Uh, so he kind of survived the draft. But again, I think people are really discounting Chase Brown, who you mentioned was eating into some of Mixon's playing time. Uh, uh, if he was eating into Joe Mixon, Zach Moss isn't. Was, I think Moss still maybe gets the bulk of it, but I think it's like a 60-40. Yeah. And that's still pretty close. 60-40, and I don't think he gets much receiving work. Um like you said, the Indy has such a really good rushing offense. Like it's not a coincidence that he did well there and all like didn't do anything when he was in Buffalo. Right. right? So it's like when he was there, that offense was built around Josh Allen and the and the passing game. Yep. When yep. Indy, they're a run first team. It worked out. When I was going to Joe Mixon and it's built around Burrow in that passing game. And I just – I don't see him living up to what people are thinking he's going to do there. He's not going to live up to what he did in Indy. He's not. Yeah, I I couldn't agree more. All righty, let's move on to your last one here. Yeah, Mr. Devin Singletary. I mean, he had a pretty good season last year in Houston. Um. You know, that offense is really, really good. The passing game is good. He took advantage of it. He looked better than Damian Pierce at every point in the season. Um, now he goes to the Giants. He doesn't have a lot of competition. Eric Gray was really, really good in college. I think he could work into that workload some. Um, they drafted Tyrone Tracy, who could push for some carries in that offense. Um, and losing any piece of pie in an offense that is this bad. Yes. See, if you look him up in the dictionary, it'll say, see Saquon Barkley. Like, if Saquon Barkley struggles to produce in this offense, Devin Singletary stands with no chance. No, so, 100%. Yeah. yeah this- I'm not liking his chances there at all. Yeah, this offense isn't efficient. Um, their quarterback play is – week their wide receivers are all kind of the same right like i know they got neighbors maybe he can step up maybe. Um, their tight end situation is interesting you know i mean that offense is just not thriving and so you don't really want to go be the running back in this non-thriving offense how many scoring opportunities is he really going to get i mean he hit the nail on the head if saquon barkley couldn't be that successful in this offense, yep. then what makes you think Devin Singletary is going to be? No, that's a hard pass for me. That's going to be a no from me, dog. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Randy Jackson. 